Coriolan National Park was created for uh, a number of reasons. The first one would be uh, geographical, I, be I, I believe. Forillon marks the very end of the south shore of the St. Lawrence River. It is a uh, finger of, of a rocky finger of land that juts out into the Gulf of St. Lawrence right at the end of the St. Lawrence River. A lot of the special flora we have in Forillon are art Arctic alpine type of plants. And most of these plants uh, prefer a calcareous habitat and that pertains to limestone. So th since our cliffs are made mostly of limestone, we have these special plants that come either from the Rocky Mountains or the High Arctic in Canada. And they're found here in the cliffs of, for of Forillon. And the interesting thing about them is that uh, we, some species are not to be found in between these reservoirs. So there are some species that are found in the Rocky Mountains across the continent and in the Clisson Forillon and not in between. We have a very popular event here that we've been uh, doing for uh, 17 years now. It brings people into contact, uh, direct contact with what's living in the sea in Forillon. We dive for the public who stays uh, on the beach and we go and pick up specimens uh, that uh, live uh, to about 100 meters from the shore and bring back uh, these specimens to aquaria that are on the beach. An aquarium for every, for every group. And uh, the naturalist there explains what uh, these animals are about and how they, how they mate and how they, how they eat and who preys on this whom. This is supposed to be a first-hand experience event. <laughs> People must bring it up. Tasty? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's fabulous. Chocolate milk shake. Yeah. Tastes, Tastes like, like chocolate, chocolate milk. milk. Yes. yes. Well, you know what, folks? That's what it was. <laughs> no. uh, I only half lied to you, though, because if I do read the ingredients label here, I come from the word carrageenan, and uh, if you ever heard of Irish moss or, or doll, uh, you can extract carrageenan from it. So without realizing, you eat algae, not only in chocolate milk, but you find it in a lot of dairy products, such as ice cream, for example. <laughs> there are environmental issues that come up through that event. Uh, it's not just showing some specimens. Most things that we know are just concerning the, uh, the species that we fish commercially, whereas all the rest of the wildlife has an importance also, because eventually maybe a special cure we're looking for for a, a special uh, sickness will be found through one of these species. We feel it's our job to uh, build up an awareness that we don't know much about what's living in the sea around, uh, around our country. And I believe uh, Forillon is just an example of what Canada has to offer to Canadians and to the world as far as uh, unique uh, aspects of natural resources. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.